<laughs> okay. So it's got a booklet. It's got a booklet. I think it also has instructions on the flaps. Perfect. So it's showing you like the strainer going to whatever's the in, which is marked on top of the canister, in, out. Okay. Right? In and out. So I got distracted with that text there, which is kind of my oh, Okay. A, so this, which one is in and out? In. In, out, out, okay, and then we have the little arrows in here. I oh, know, and it says in, it's not an, okay, got so it. That means water going into the canister. Okay. This means water going out of the canister. So this end connects to? The strainer. This, okay. To this one, and this one to the tank. No, this one goes into the? That one's going to go to the sterilizer. To the sterilizer, okay. That's the strainer. That's the strainer, got it. It's just with that one. Fantastic. Um, now the strainer, they don't have any sponges for the strainer to, no? Not for like that. Monster. Okay. Perfect. But you saw all the sponges they have inside is why. Yeah, all the filtration really happens all in there. All different pads. How often there. would you say I service this thing? Usually it's monthly. Clean it. Monthly? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I do a small water change and just do a monthly anyway. So that's how the hoses go over the back of the tank. Okay, perfect. Do they have here which one? okay, so they want do they want this part of the clip inside? Yes. This part they want inside the tank. Okay. So these things just come off. Okay. Okay, sounds ugly, but that's the way it goes. It just claps. Okay. And then once you clicks. Get, then once you get the hose over, then these go over the hose. Okay, to keep the hose in place. So this is for the we're gonna do the intake in here. So we're gonna put that strainer in there. So we just leave that there already, okay. right? Okay. Okay. So after setting it up. And all the water and everything. Why don't you help me record so I can pay more attention to Mark? It's just um, recording, you can pause whenever you want. No How is Ray can put in the fish? Once he gets the circulation going and everything, the water's there. He's going to do for it to clear up and get your temperature stable. And, and then boom, fish time. Okay, so. These are the release on the valves. So are you going to be going okay. to, to Fins and Friends all day and filling this thing? <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a five gallon every other day. Okay. So I'm going to be constantly... No, not, not really. No, no but he's, I'm talking about how are you going to fill it today? Oh! I that, no wonder you were laughing at me. <laughs> Five gallons uh, every other day? Yeah, sure! I'm not going to fill the tank today. Today is uh, go to Home Depot, get the part, set up the reef, build a, all the rock Wash work. the sand, get the sand in. Yeah, that's going to be a circus. Get the rock structure. Yeah. Um, Tomorrow morning, I use all my jugs for the service account I do because I do a five okay. gallon. Mm -hmm. But then after I get back from that, obviously the rest of the day, Friday and Saturday, I don't use the jugs. Okay, so I could probably uh, loan them, uh, yes. borrow them from you. So if you want, I can pre-mix up water at 1.010 for you mm -hmm. and fill the jugs with that. Okay. And then you can just transfer those because I've got. Those are the those are the trash can things you're talking about. No, my no, my jugs are seven them. gallon ones. Okay, the okay. Big ones. I've got 10 of them, so that's 70 gallons. Yeah, I could probably fit it in the car for at least five, five or something. Six. Maybe a little seven, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. So that's the... So valves are interchangeable. They're, no, yeah. one's not in and one's not out. They're both the same. Okay. Uh, vertical is open. I think they're just reverse. I always think righty tighty you close, mm -hmm. and these are opposite. Okay. Oh, these are lefties? Left to close, right to open. Yeah. Okay. Lefty tighty, righty loosey. <laughs> so this I usually push in the button and just push it down and give it a twist. And that's it. Okay. So they can even spin on those. Let me let me do this one. Too. Sure. So I press on this thing mm -hmm. and then just go. Hard, sit it, twist it a little bit, let go. That's it. So this is right now open. Yep. 
So left to close. <laughs> That's close. Okay, left to close. Left to close. So when I'm going to service this thing, close. First turn it off. Unplug it. Turn uh, then close it. And then what's next? And then you can push in the I'll, button. I'll do them. Separate the valves and leave the hoses behind. And since I closed them, water won't drain out of the hoses. Exactly. Okay. Then I'll do these guys. Well, usually I take it out of the stand then and take it to the sink or wherever. Okay, perfect. Because right. yeah, when you undo those guys, there will be water that comes out. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then once you get it out, you can either, before you take it out, you know, after you've separated these hoses off, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be heavy when it's full of water. Because that's yes. probably close to five gallons. And that's why you told me at the store one time that you want to empty it. How do we do that? So you can either, this is a drain. Okay. And they give you a piece of hose for that. Right here. Yeah. Okay. So if you wanted to drain it that way, mm -hmm. loosen this lock nut here. We'll do that. That comes off. You can put the hose on to a little pan or a bucket or, you know. A five-gallon bucket? Well, a five-gallon might be higher because of the height. Got it. In other words. So you want a pan. Yeah, something low. Because you're not going to do it by mechanical way. You're going to do it by gravity. And then okay. you could open that and that would drain the canister out. And then once you're done draining it, then you can close yes, it. Yes, another way, I unhooked it already from those. It's a little heavy, but I can still bring it out. Uh -huh. Grab it, put it on top of a chair, and then by gravity, dump the water, yeah. drain it into a bucket. Take it outside and drain it, or Something to like the that. sink, or... Okay, so, and that thing is just open and closed right there. That right there is closed. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah, vertical on that one is closed. Got it. So horizontal water flows. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Vertical, it blocks it. Got it. So then... I mean, the other way... I don't know if you want to tell you if it'll be too confusing. Or no, not. no, no. That's why I'm recording. Yeah, I remember you again. told us you take out your in, you take out your um, you flush it out before right. you turn it off. Before you take, you take off one of the things and then close the other. So the other way is okay. We've got it running. Yeah, it's running, running right it's now. Filtering, it's plugged in. <laughs> so then what we can do if we want is close the end. Okay. Motor's still running, but no water's flowing because it's it's got a vacuum now, right? Yeah, so, so motor's the running, end. close the end, so I'm not capturing any more water from the tank. Right. And okay. then with the end closed, still leaving that one open, if I go ahead and jiggle that one off, then that, way that lets air in. So that this thing can will, empty. Pump will pump it out and empty it. You'll oh. hear when it's empty. You'll hear it. Then that's a way to empty this thing by, me yeah. by mechanical ways. Well, that's the best way. Electricity. Then, oh, I love that. Then oh. once it's empty, pump still running. Then close. Then unplug. Yeah, because if you if you, you unplug first, back push. water will go backwards to it. Yeah. Got it. But when you close this, you want to unplug it fast to get air in there. So you close this. Because the pump will string. Yeah. We'll start after a few moments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not like you got to burn it or anything. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do it because it's still wet. But you don't want to close it and take off. When right? you <laughs> when you when you do this, will you put part particulates back into the tank? It'll it'll create a little. No, because it's it was flowing a minute ago, and it's okay. still flowing the same way. Okay. Cool. It's just not getting any water into it now, mm -hmm. so it'll empty. Yeah, yeah, but this water is already clean. Yeah. And then to clean the your, the guts of this uh, filter, you want to use tank water. So you come to the tank and grab a bucket and then do your rinsing within that water. Yeah. Put your stuff That's the way you affect the bacteria the least. Exactly. Okay. But the bacteria, it is, is affected a little bit in these washers. I don't think by just washing it in salt water. No? Most of the bacteria is still attached to the... The surfaces of the sponges and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Got it. How loud is this thing? Oh, you won't hear it. You'll, you might hear water rippling, but. Yeah, you want to hear it. So then, yeah, so after it emptied, you shut this, you unplugged it, then you can separate that off 
and then you can take the canister out and it's now a lot lighter. Now do all these things. Yeah, now it's empty, it's a lot lighter. Yeah. There's still some water in it. Yeah, but it's So I still might take it out and then drain also what's left out of there. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, there'd be some water. But yeah, then you would loosen all those, flip them down. How many minutes on the video there? Ten. Here's the o-ring here. Okay. So I always spray this off so I don't have sand there. Okay. Because if you get if you have sand up in there, then when you, you go to put it back seal. on, you might leak. Got it. So you do the wash. So you clean. You spray that off with water to make sure there's no sand whatsoever in there. Yeah. Got it. And these little things, I I know when I uh, I'm doing sometimes they'll twist and come out or whatever. Okay. But the, the white thing's kind of a little bit longer, like a long cylinder, and you can just snap it back up in. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it's not a big deal. Okay. So it's like, oh my god, I broke it. Right. Okay. Okay. Then it's got the red handles for you to lift all your chambers out. Fantastic. And then I also usually spray all this up because I'll usually have sand down in there stuff too. And debris. Okay. Once a month. Now, for this type of stuff, would you recommend a high pressure in the oil, or it doesn't matter, just a normal hose? Yeah, I, I usually have like a, I always put like a shut off nozzle on the hose for myself. Okay. So I don't have to go back and forth to faucets. Yeah, just, so yeah, I can just spray it and then cool. shut it off. Yeah. From what, no, from what, from what hose? Well, you're going to need to find a way to rinse it with a hose. Where yeah, I'll probably take that to bathroom pulp or something. Could. Right? You could. And then... I need that some sort of off. hose from there so that I can do my well, That's what I was saying. Or I can have a, a pitcher and instead of hosing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you get the sand out, I guess. Yeah, or yeah. rinse it in the sink or whatever. But yeah, just the sand. If, it, if I'm rinsing in the sink with sand, I always make sure I do it yeah. on the not disposal side. Yes. Because I don't want the sand grinding in the garbage. You actually like don't want sand even on your normal pipe because it'll collect in there. Over time, and then you can plug it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a hobby. So those just it's a hobby. It's work. That's why the best thing would be you can buy an adapter. You, we don't have the freaking hose adapters out here. You just plug it into the sink and go out in the front or the back and shh. yeah. What you don't know is that in this building, they took out our ability to have outside uh, faucets. Uh, yeah, there's no fa I don't have a faucet in the back here. It's stupid. The thing is that it was abused. And so they just shut it off for everybody in that sense. All right, guys. So I don't have enough. If I want to do wash the car, I don't, I don't have a way to plug in the car. We use our neighbors because he's a cool guy. But anyway. There's all your okay, so the setup over here, what do I need to do? When I'm going to transfer my bacteria from the old tank. Any open spot, really. Put it in there. I'm going to have it. If it's that's there, or if wants to buy only these in there, I can be there. Now, those I get out of the, there, just rinse them. Yeah, just rinse the particles off them. Mm -hmm. You can put them in a bag or don't put them in a bag. Okay, put them in a bag, it's cool because then you can take them out and kind of put them inside a bucket and rinse them a little bit and put them back in. Gotcha. And then, you know, you've got different sponges all throughout. Mm -hmm. Is there an order? No, I mean, the water's flowing through all of it, so right. usually you just want one sponge on the bottom before the biomedia. That way you don't get so much debris in the biomedia. Gotcha. So the biomedia, you like to put it in the middle chamber? Yeah. Okay. But your other sponges, you know, when you take out of there or whatever you use, you can put in there. Or if it's the bio balls, they can go in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's probably the easiest with that one because that's got all the bio balls. Yeah. Just, just put your bio balls in on top of that sponge. Yeah. And then. Once we finish with this thing, I want to show you the tank over there. We have okay. we have a couple of problems there. Okay. And then these sponges lift out to rinse out. Yeah. Beautiful. All of that stuff you can take your time with a little bucket, no? Yeah. Salt water. Yeah. Because all of that stuff will grow over, over time too. Line up your mm -hmm. things, then red things. Handles have a little bit of a curve, right? So that kind of indicates which way in or out there. Yeah. Very nice. Just hook underneath, snap them in, and, and you got a pipe there, right? Mm -hmm. So either side, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And that's it.
Then that one goes onto the and other end. Can go there. Okay, so the tureen that you're out. And I just make sure it looks like you're seated all the way around. Nothing's forcing it up. Mm -hmm. And then put it all back in there. Tighten them. Yeah. You don't need to super tighten them. No, no, we're just just hand tight. And feel that. That's enough. Okay. And if you ever have a leak from around there, that means you have some sand in there. Shut it off. Pull it off again and look at your O-ring. Okay. So it, it's got like a rubber ring oh, in there. An o -ring. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then that coating around the thing is for the intake. Yeah, it's for all of it. Okay, so that's okay. Let me let me understand. So that goes in there. Okay, so on the out, mm -hmm. it is barbed just like our fitting. Okay. So on the out, you will do the black hose. That you showed me for the sterilizer. For the UV, from there to the UV. Okay. And a clamp on here too. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And then. So then from the other end of the sterilizer, you can put this with no, a clamp on it. Put a clamp on there too. Okay, so that's clamp one, clamp two, and clamp three. So put that on the sterilizer. Yeah. Feed up and put the whole length of the tube up over. Okay. And see how long you want it going in the tank. For your output. And then what do you do? For this. So I cut the, the hooking? So once you figure out the length, you cut it and then this pushes on. Okay. But you want the glued fitting outside the tank. That's why you don't want you don't want this one up in the tank. You, know, you want this so one, one of the out other out on the hose bar. Gotcha. Okay, that goes into the sterilizer. Yeah. Then I'm gonna cut the pipe here somewhere. And then when I figure push out. Up on it. And then just push on on. And then that, that other end? So then you've got that one cut, and you've got that set up. Uh, it's like a second pipe for got it. it. Then okay, you got two pipes your, into one without severing them. Then you got your second pipe, and same thing. Put the end on here first with the hose clamp. That's the third clamp. Feed it so up. So clamp, clamp, clamp on the other end of the sterilizer. Yeah, and, and they give you some clamps in there. So if I need extra, there you go. Yeah, got it. Well, I mean, when you put this, do you want to put that on here? Before you slide yeah, it on. Yeah, the thing is that he gave me three over there. Yeah, so I would. The sterilizer. These suction cups. Uh huh. Are for somewhere. For 18 minutes. Okay. You can sometimes when you see lulls, you can pause. But we're, we're, I got the gist of the whole thing. So actually, you would normally put that clamp on first. Before yeah, exactly. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you don't have to completely undo the clamp. And then you shouldn't have to undo that later, right? No. When you are going to do this thing, you push this off, take that off, and this yeah. all stays. Let's clamp. Same thing. So then put your other end up over the tank, figure Measure. out how long you want, want to cut That's it. That's with your return for your and intake. The same thing, that'll push up over on the hose. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, usually I just cut it and then I just jiggle it as you push it up on. Again, it's not a twisting thing because it's not threads. It's a jiggle as you push. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And this thing, which one is the, the one inside the tank? The longer one? Yeah. That's inside the tank. And it'll it'll because that way it hooks onto the frame of the tank. Yeah, and it'll click. Oh, and then you can push this in right like that. Right. Well, this is the, the this is the complex part. All the other stuff I know. Right, anything else? We're there at 19 minutes.